Matthew chapter 19. Now it came to pass when Jesus had finished these sayings that he departed from Galilee and came to the region of Judea, beyond the Jordan. And great multitudes followed him, and he healed them there. The Pharisees also came to him, testing him. Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason? Have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh? So then, they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let not man separate. Why then did Moses command to give a certificate of divorce and to put her away? Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, permitted you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for sexual immorality, and marries another, commits adultery, and whoever marries her, who is divorced, commits adultery. His disciples said to him, If such is the case of the man with his wife, it is better not to marry. All cannot accept this saying, but only those to whom it has been given. For there are eunuchs who were born thus from their mother's womb, and there are eunuchs who were made eunuchs by men, and there are eunuchs who have made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. He who is able to accept it, let him accept it. Then little children were brought to him, that he might put his hands on them and pray. But the disciples rebuked them. Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them, and departed from there. Now behold, one came and said to him, Good teacher, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Why do you call me good? No one is good but one, that is, God. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. Which ones? You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, all these things I have kept from my youth. What do I still lack? If you want to be perfect, go, sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Assuredly, I say to you that it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. And again I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, they were greatly astonished. Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them. With men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. See... We have left all and followed you. Therefore, what shall we have? Assuredly, I say to you, that in the regeneration, when the Son of Man sits on the throne of his glory, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold and inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. Mark chapter 10 Then he arose from there, and came to the region of Judea by the other side of the Jordan. And multitudes gathered to him again, and as he was accustomed, he taught them again. 
the Pharisees came and asked him, testing him. Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? What did Moses command you? Moses permitted a man to write a certificate of divorce and to dismiss her. Because of the hardness of your heart, he wrote you this precept. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. In the house, his disciples also asked him again about the same matter. Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if a woman divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. Then they brought little children to him that he might touch them. But the disciples rebuked those who brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was greatly displeased. Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them. For of such is the kingdom of God. Assuredly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. <laughs> and he took them up in his arms, <laughs> laid his hands on them, and blessed them. Now as he was going out on the road, one came running and knelt before him. Good teacher, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? No one is good but one. That is God. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Do not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. Teacher, all these things I have kept from my youth. Then Jesus, looking at him, loved him. One thing you lack. Go your way, sell whatever you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, take up the cross, and follow me. <sighs> but he was sad at this word, and went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answered again and said to them, Children, how hard it is for those who trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And they were greatly astonished, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them. With men, it is impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. Then Peter began to say to him, See, we have left all and followed you. Assuredly, I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands, with persecutions, and in the age to come, eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. Now they were on the road, going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was going before them, and they were amazed. And as they followed, they were afraid. Then he took the twelve aside again and began to tell them the things that would happen to him. Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be betrayed to the chief priests and to the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and deliver him to the Gentiles, and they will mock him and scourge him and spit on him and kill him. And the third day, he will rise again. 
Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him. Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. What do you want me to do for you? Grant us that we may sit, one on your right hand and the other on your left, in your glory. You do not know what you ask. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? We are able. You will indeed drink the cup that I drink, and with the baptism I am baptized with, you will be baptized. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it is prepared. And when the ten heard it, they began to be greatly displeased with James and John. But Jesus called them to himself. You know that those who are considered rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. Yet it shall not be so among you. But whoever desires to become great among you shall be your servant. And whoever of you desires to be first shall be slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Now they came to Jericho. As he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the road begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Then many warned him to be quiet, but he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind man. Be of good cheer. Rise, he is calling you. And throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. So Jesus answered and said to him, What do you want me to do for you? Rabboni, that I may receive my sight. <laughs> Go your way. Your faith has made you well. <gasps> and immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. <laughs> 